about uh, what goes on in the centre and how it all, all works there. As we mentioned, the Royal Foundation is something that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry legally established back in September 2009. didn't become fully operational until a couple of years later, but it is what they hope to be, their leading philanthropic investor, um, in effectively using its time and resources to create lasting change in targeted areas and geographies around uh, mm. the, the place. They do a lot of work in Africa, always have, and that will fit with the conservation focus. Uh, and of course, with both William and Harry having served in the military, uh, a very strong focus on welfare mm. for the returned services. We're getting ready for a DJ demonstration at the centre now, I think. But this new wave, the younger royals, I think it's bringing a lot of people back. So there you heard... How uh, do they remember the words? Ah, yes. Work. And that's been, if you could hear those words, that was specifically written for today, talking about the three hours that you'll hear and, you know, clearly this is something that uh, means a great deal to this young woman. How nervous would you have been, Amelia? <laughs> Terribly. And it's great to see a girl doing that too. Mm. They could have wheeled out any of the men that they had at the table before, but it was great to see her doing that. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw a little couple of head bobs from, uh, from William there, a couple of little in Do you think he the... might do a bit of this at home, a bit well, of hip-hop? I think he'd be a rapper, wouldn't he? Would he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what would be his rap name? <laughs> the Duke? DJ, DJ Duke. <laughs> DJ Duke. And he's having a chat to our young DJ there. No, she there did a no... great job. Imagine the pressure on her. Absolutely. There was no deck and there was no scratching. No, scratch, I, was... I did look it up. Scratching yeah. is a technique. No, sure. it's so the history, time. you know, of music at, at Elizabeth. Think about mm -hmm. Little River Band. Yes. Glenn yeah. Shorrock. Yeah. I sat beside him at school. You Jimmy. didn't. I literally sat beside Glenn Shorrock at school, I'm proud to say. Mm. And Jimmy Barnes comes Jimmy from Barnes. up yes. that Jimmy way. Jimmy Barnes. We've got a whole history of music. Music. And David Campbell, emanated. of course, is Indeed. Jimmy's son. Yes. Mm. Oh, now here's this is the forte. Now, I think they're going to get the Duke I and think, Duchess to do a bit I of think this. They're going to have a little oh, scratch. Too cool. That is too That cool. is. There it is. That's exactly what I was talking about. That e -e 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 business. <laughs> there you go. Let's see if we can listen Where in a little. Where have you been going at it, oh, Arjun? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get up to date on. Something can handle the Here you go. There you go. There's Kate. Oh, she's oh, a natural. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> and getting a great round of applause. Now, I wonder if the DJ has mentioned that he's got the jaws of a great white on his chest. Yeah, to the well, one, one, of the, one of the hallmarks of South Australia. Is she on her own, mate? Quick up. There it is. They're, they're probably recording this, Jane, it will become a, uh, a single. Now, on, wouldn't that be an entrepreneurial thing to do? Yeah. Now, the Duke's going to have a go. Let's see whether he can manage this. Let's take it out to the occasional nightclub in Marchbridge over there in London. <laughs> Rhythm, is he? No. But he's trying hard. <laughs> it doesn't matter the result, but he will always get a round of applause because he is the Duke. Kate's wanting to have another try. I think Kate's wanting a few tips for at home on their own decks. <laughs> they look like beautiful facilities, don't they? Really well kept and. Uh, obviously with all the gear to enable you to explore, as Amelia said, explore all the different ways that young people yeah. are expressing themselves musically. If this is the path you want to take, they, they mm. tell me this is the place to go to learn. 
Now we understand that shortly their Royal Highnesses will go for a private meeting. Um, of course at these things, managing the media is a massive effort mm. because everybody wants to see, so we have pool, what, what are called pool cameras and you would have seen cameras running around there. Um, and that was to make sure that everybody can get the pictures that we need. But then, as you can imagine, being constantly under the spotlight like that, you can't really have a, a casual or well, a, can't a, have a, real conversation. a proper conversation mm. without every word being reported. So they'll go for a private meeting now with some of the NSS people. Mm. And that gives everybody an opportunity to be a bit more candid and not worrying about whether they say the wrong word and, and get it misreported. It. Yeah. Mm. Indeed. It's just fantastic, isn't it, to see them uh, working so hard. Now, tell us a bit more about the dress. We know it's Alexander McQueen. We do. British designer. Do we know yet whether it's a dress or a skirt and a no, top? No, look, we're still waiting to find that out. But, I mean, Alexander McQueen is, there is there a staple of, of Kate's. You know, mm -hmm. the, the label did design her wedding dress. And there was That's a lot right. of speculation about the wedding dress before who was going to make it and she did go to Alexander McQueen who you know is a London favourite. She often pulls out Alexander McQueen bits and pieces. She's used several items of um, mm. from the label throughout the tour.